Jeff Bezos just announced he would be flying to space on July 20th with his brother Mark. Bezos' space company, Blue Origin, will be flying the new Shepard rocket with humans on board for the first time. Bezos' news that he would be on the first flight was a big surprise. As you know, Richard Branson already has plans to get to space on his company's Virgin Galactic spaceship, the VSS Unity, sometime this summer. And it has a lot of people asking, will Bezos beat Branson to space? Which company will win, Blue Origin or Virgin Galactic? Richard Branson congratulated Bezos through a tweet. He also mentioned that Blue Origin had been around longer than Virgin Galactic, and he kind of implied that very soon they should both be sharing the tourism market together. Then on Tuesday, this article came out from ParaboliceArc.com, claiming from an anonymous source Branson might still have a flight in July. Yes, Virgin Galactic is in the plans to possibly fly Branson on 4th of July weekend. This is not confirmed, but significant. This would mean a test flight might be skipped and Branson's flight would be brought ahead in the schedule. The next flight is supposed to carry four mission specialists to test the crew cabin of the spaceship too, but it might be delayed so Branson can beat Bezos to space. This flight would require the VSS Unity to have a quick turnaround after its May 22nd flight of about 44 days to meet the July 4th weekend deadline. 72 days was the turnaround between the first and second flights of the VSS Unity. It might be a challenge, but I believe it is achievable. So far, Virgin Galactic has downplayed the rumor, but I believe there could still be surprises over this summer, and I would not rule, uh, rule out the potential of Branson flying very soon. Anyways, Bezos' flight looks like it will be ready to meet the July 20th uh, deadline. So we have an interesting race in the making, Bezos versus Branson. Now let's do a comparison of the spacecrafts. Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 versus Blue Origin's New Shepard. Branson bought Scaled Composite Spaceship One technology in 2004 to create Virgin Galactic. The Spaceship Two was a new, new design, but carried a lot of the same features of Spaceship One, such as the feathering system that allows the craft to safely re-enter into the atmosphere. The Spaceship Two is a lot bigger, the body has a slightly different shape, and its development and construction were different than that of the Spaceship One. The rocket motors the craft uses are much different than the ones Spaceship One used which were built by a company called SpaceDev that has now been acquired by the Sierra Nevada Corporation since then. Virgin Galactic builds its own engines now. The current design, Rocket Motor 2, is a hybrid rocket engine that uses both solid and liquid propellants. Virgin Galactic uses an air launch system allowing the spaceship to be dropped from an aircraft about 50,000 feet above the Earth. It can then power its rocket motors and fly to the edge of space at about 55 miles above the Earth. Passengers can experience weightlessness for several minutes and then can return back to Earth like an aircraft. The VSS Unity has already flown to space three times with humans on board. Blue Origin worked in secrecy over most of its lifetime since being founded back in 2000. The company had rocket programs before it flew the New Shepard, such as the Blue Origin Goodard, which data collected from these early test flights would go towards the development of engines and other components. The New Shepard is a vertical takeoff and vertical landing suborbital rocket that is capable of reaching the edge of space. Passengers will ride in the capsule on top of the rocket booster. The capsule detaches from the booster and the passengers will experience several minutes of weightlessness. The capsule re will re-enter the atmosphere and parachute safely back to the Earth. The booster lands back on the Earth 
to later be reused for the next flight. It first demonstrated its landing capability back in 2015. So far, the New Shepard has flown to space 15 times, but has never carried human passengers before. So, how will this race impact the stock for Virgin Galactic? Virgin Galactic stock, stock ticker SPCE, reacted positively after Bezos's Monday announcement and an article by the Wall Street Journal said Bezos' plan to fly to space could actually help Virgin Galactic stock. Why? Well, even though these companies are competitors, they actually, they're actually both proving the same concept that could attract more customers and investors. For example, when Tesla demonstrated the viability of electric vehicles, this brought more confidence to other EV startups allowing new investors to enter the market. Commercial flights by Virgin Galactic or Blue Origin show space tourism is becoming a reality. I think uh, this stock will go up. Plus, the Branson-Bezos race is free publicity. So, when asked which company will dominate space tourism, I believe space tourism will not be dominated by a single customer since the demand will be strong and a variety of two spacecraft systems will give customers options. Some will want to fly on a space plane, others will want to fly on a rocket. Personally, I like the idea of flying with Virgin Galactic spaceship. I like the idea of being launched from a a mothership air launch system, then firing that rocket motor, flying up into space, and then feathering uh, as we re-enter back into the atmosphere and gliding safely back to a runway uh, like it was an aircraft. I'm sure both will be exciting, but the spaceship has similarities to the X-15 program of the 1960s, which excites me. And I like the idea of being able to ride with the pilots in which you can actually share the experience together. Uh, you are flying with pilots who have the right stuff. Uh, that makes them like celebrities of their own. And I think that would bring something unique that New Shepard doesn't offer. Also, I want to bring up, this is a great book, Test Gods. You get to learn more about the pilots and people working with the company. And uh, you get to know a little bit more about uh, Mark Stuckey, one of the pilots of Virgin Galactic, and that's a reason why I'd love to fly on a spaceship too, is having the experience of flying with that pilot, or any pilots, because they're all exciting and they have something to offer. So uh, it makes it more uh, humanized, and yeah, it would be cool to share that experience. But give, if given the option, I would fly on both. At the end, both companies will most likely dominate their share of the market. The only problem is that there will not be enough spaceships or rockets to meet the demand in these coming years. Two companies alone will not be enough to tackle the high demand people will want to have to go to space. Yes, flights will be expensive, ranging from 250000 to possibly $1 million. And I know most people cannot pay to experience something like this, uh, but there are a lot of wealthy people in this world, uh, people who pay to climb Everest uh, multiple times to travel to Antarctica or the far reaches. Uh, these life experiences are worth more than money, and people are willing to pay for that. This luxurious experience I believe many wealthy individuals will pay for and after a decade or two the fleets will be built out and more proven technology will allow for more affordable flights that the masses can afford. And I believe in time uh, you or me will be able to afford a trip to space. Also I want to point out Elon Musk will not be involved in this race. As of right now he is more focused on getting the uh, Starship to run, uh, to fly, to get it to orbit, and he wants to get hum humans to Mars. 
Uh, so he's more focused on, you know, making humanity a spacefaring civilization rather than traveling to space himself. But I believe one day he will travel to space, but he wants to accomplish his goals first. The Falcon 9 also offers a tourist ride to orbit, which is a lot longer than that of suborbital flights that Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin will offer. But a flight on a Falcon 9 Dragon cost about $55 million. I don't think a lot of people are going to be paying for that right now. So uh, if Virgin Galactic or Blue Origin feel threatened by that, I wouldn't worry. Uh, there's plenty of uh, millionaires, but there's not that many billionaires who would pay for an orbital flight yet. So, when asked who will win, Bezos or Branson, honestly, it's hard to say uh, who will win. If the rumor about Branson is true, then I'd say he would win. Otherwise, Bezos will win, which maybe is a win for Blue Origin because they do need this. They've been suffering from some setbacks, some delays, and uh, the, co uh, the company probably could use a little boost, uh, some morale boost to see their owner uh, fly to space on their craft. We are at a unique moment where two billionaires who both own space companies are competing, are racing each other to get to space. And uh, that's something special. That's something that people can see and get excited about. This race alone will get people excited and more interested in going to space. If they see wealthy men take a risk of going to space, then that makes space travel look less dangerous than before. Whether Bezos or Branson gets to space first, it doesn't matter to the customer. What matters is that uh, this experience and these crafts are safe and reliable that can meet the service for a space tourist economy. So, to summarize, even if Bezos beats Branson, I wouldn't worry if you hold shares in Virgin Galactic. Uh, this will bring more attention to the space industry, and I still remain very bullish that the stock will continue to climb. Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic both have bright futures ahead. I also wish Branson and Bezos success in their upcoming flights, and I hope to see them both flying soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I talk a lot more about Virgin Galactic in other videos, and I plan on talking more about other space stocks and uh, um, topics related to the space industry. So I hope to see you again, and uh, thanks. I'll see you next time.